Okay, um, let's talk about images. Uh, let's talk about background images, which are, um, when it comes to CSS and design, all the images. I know that might seem strange initially, but you'll get used to the idea that for design, when you're putting in logos, when you're putting in anything for, through CSS as images, they come in as background images. All right, so um, to do this, let's talk a little bit about some prep we need to do. First of all, in the HTML, I've added in a div called wrapper. Wrapper is everything in the body. You might say, why does that exist? Because we already have body, and I'll show you why in a minute. Um, one of the reasons why. You'll see that often when people create HTML that's going to be styled by CSS, they'll create a wrapper that wraps up the entire page. I've also added just an H1 here into um, strange into the uh, into the header here, um, and and just to make things cleaner, I'm going to go ahead and take out all of our H1 um, uh, markup in the uh, CSS real quick. So let me save that and see what that does for us. So now we have just two H1s. This one happens to be in the header. We can't see that really, but it is. Uh, the other thing that I've done is done some prep work on images and um, put them in the image file here. We have a couple of things. We have a, uh, a logo here called tburger.png and we've got a tileable, um, my attempt at a tortoiseshell design. Um, that I did both of these I just kind of prepped real quick in an image editor. Okay, so um, what does that mean? Let's go ahead and go and uh, start with making use of this uh, wrapper to create kind of a page within a page, which is a very something you see pretty frequently um, on the web. So what we're going to do is first, just so we can see the wrapper, we're going to create a border. We'll make it say one pixel um, black uh, solid. And then we'll also do a background color. We'll do a, a very pale, uh, um, something like that, a very pale yellow. So now we can actually see um, what what's being covered by the wrapper, and we'll see that it's almost everything. There's actually a built-in margin around the wrapper here um, that we can kind of adjust, but it's built in. So let's go ahead and add in a little bit of padding on the wrapper and a little bit of margin. Um, so first we'll do the padding. We'll put in, say, 20 pixels of padding, and we'll put in a margin of 20 pixels. Make the margin a little bit bigger, 40 pixels. And we'll save this. And if we do that, we get to see a little bit more here around the edge and a little bit more spacing in here. So that's great. Um, now we want to fill in the body behind the wrapper with that pattern. So this pattern right here. So let's go ahead and we'll say, not in HTML, we really want to put it in, in the body. So in the body we'll do background um, URL and then we go to images uh, t shell shell dot jpg. Um, a quick note here that this is um, relative to where the CSS is. So right now the CSS is right here in strange meets. So it's saying here's the style.css. It says look in images and then the file. If we put style in CSS, then we'd have to say look up and then in images. But right now it's in it's out here. So we're saying look in images for the T shell. We'll say that and we'll refresh. Oops, that's not what we need to refresh. We need to refresh this. And you'll see that we now have a background back behind here. It's not pretty, but it's looking a little better. Let's go ahead and throw a logo behind here. And now we can't really see it, but the there's a header. Um, if we do a quick thing like this, we'll see there's the T1, but there's a header around it, just very closely around it. So let's go ahead and put the this image in there as well. Um, to do that, we need to address the header. Header. And again, we'll do background URL images tburger.png. And we will see that this causes us to have a disaster. So in the next section, we'll talk about how we can make this look like it's supposed to look and not like this. All right.